how to calculate the area of a regular hexagon when you've been given one side. Okay, so I'm going to teach you two methods. Um, they're both pretty straightforward. Um, one's a little bit simpler to it than the other, but you've got to remember a formula. The other one, uh, you can just use Pythagoras' theorem, which you probably already know, and uh, but it's a little bit more complicated. So let's start with the first one, which is the regular hexagon area formula, which is this one here. So if you are good at memorizing things, if you can just memorize that, then this is the easiest one to do. And all you need to do is you get uh, the square root of three, multiply it by three, divide that answer by two, and then multiply it by the uh, that length of the side squared. Okay, which probably sounds a bit complicated, but let's talk you through it. So let's say, for instance, here we need to calculate the side, uh, the area of a hexagon with a side of four centimeters. How do we do it? Well, what we do here first of all is we calculate the square root of three by putting three and pressing the square root button. And that will get us some ridiculously long number there. Uh, ignore that. Multiply that number by 3. And that gives us another ridiculous number. Divide that answer by 2. Because now we're doing this part of the equation. And that will give us this bit here. And now all we need to do is multiply it by the length squared. And the easiest way to do that is just to multiply it by the length. And then multiply it by the length again. So times 4 equals times 4 equals. There you go. So the area of this regular hexagon is 41.569 blah 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 or 41.57. There you go. So that's the first way. Pretty straightforward if you can rem remember this equation and you're okay using the square root button on your calculator. Good. So that's the first way. Uh, the disadvantage, as I said, is you're going to have to remember that formula. And if you're like me and you've got a memory of a sieve, then that's probably not going to work. Um, however, 20 years later, I can still remember Pythagoras' theorem. So let's have a look at that. Oh, that's our calculation from the previous one there. Happy days. We've already done that. So Pythagoras' theorem, this is this one here, the theorem for triangles. And it's there to calculate um, the sides of triangles. Uh, and it's really easy to remember. I mean, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. You know, you're not going to forget that in a hurry, which is good. But it's a little bit more complicated to use because this is made for triangles and we want to calculate it for a regular hexagon. So how does that work? Well, again, nice and simple. All we need to do is... A hexagon is made up of six triangles, all of which are joined together. So all we need to do is calculate the area of one triangle. And once we've done that, we can then multiply by six to get the area of six triangles, which is, of course, the area of the hexagon. So, but obviously the equation for a triangle is the uh, half of the base times by the height. But we don't know the height here, and that's our question mark. We don't know this bit here. We know that's four, that's four, and that's four, but we don't know what this number is here. So we've got to use this uh, equation here to work it out. Now, this is an equilateral triangle. In fact, there are six of them there. Uh, now, Pythagoras' theorem doesn't work on equilateral triangles. It only works on right angle triangles. Oh no, well, don't worry, because that's not a problem, because a right angle triangle if you chop up a, an equilateral triangle in two, like that, uh, chop, then you make two equilateral triangles anyway. So, sorry, two right angle triangles. So, what do we got here? Well, we've got four centimeters here for this side here, which is side C, which is the hypotenuse. Uh, we know side B because side B is half of the length of the equilateral triangle, so that's only two. So we know four, we know two, but they're not much use to us because we need to know this one here, which is A. So how do we work out A? Well, what we do is we take this equation here, the A squared plus B squared equals C squared, and we rearrange it 
so that we've got a equals something. So how does that work? Well, it's pretty easy. If you want a on its own, you're going to have to move b squared here over to that side first. So here you've got plus b squared. So if you move it onto the other side of the equation, you're going to, going to, going to have minus b squared. So this will be a squared equals c squared minus b squared. Uh, but that's still no use because we don't want a squared. We want a. So what do we do? Well, we move the squared over to this side, which means the squared again becomes the opposite, which is square root, which gives you this equation here. a equals the square root of c squared minus b squared. Again, as long as you can rearrange that equation to make this, then you're happy. Good. Okie dokie. So let's get started. So how does that work? Well, easiest way to do it is to work out c squared, work out b squared. So c squared is this one here, 4. So 4 times 4, c squared is 16. b squared here, well, b is 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. So you've got 16 minus 4, which is 12. So you just need to find the square, which is there. So 4 times 4 minus 2 times 2 equals 12. Then we find the square root of 12 by hitting the square root button on our calculator. So let's show you that one. Du, 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 du. Let's just show you that in action. So let's do 4 times 4 just to show you. 16, good, so that's 16. 2 times 2 is 4, which is that one, 4. Uh, which 16 minus 4 is 12, good. And then we need the square root of 12. So we just type 12 and hit the square root button. And it gives us this crazy number here. So the height of one of them there is 3.464 centimeters. Good. So just remember that bit there or leave it in your calculator. So we've done all of that. And that's for one reason, because we need to calculate the height. Uh, we need to calculate the area which means we need to calculate the area of this triangle here, and we needed the height. So the area um, of a triangle is this times this divided by two. Now we've just worked that out because that one there is this 3.464. So 3.464 times by the base, which of course is the length of one side, which is four. There we go, which is 13.85, blah, 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 blah. That then, divide that by two, and that gives us the area of one triangle. There we go, good. Uh, and then all we need to do now is to multiply by six to get all six triangles. There we go. And there you go. So that's 41.5692, blah, 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 or 41.57. There you go. So that is how you work out the area of a um, regular hexagon. There you go. Thank you very much.